that it's impacted me long term. I we eat pretty well on orbit, and so we um we don't eat Body processes a lot of things. Great question. Over. Of practicing microgravity on the healing process. The body, we take blood, we take saliva samples, and we look at those and we're trying to figure out how our body processes, um, how our body changes with microgravity, how it processes um, different foods that we eat, the nutrients. Um, so we're still figuring out how, you know, fast our body can heal. We're, we don't know just yet. That's a great question. Over. Um, I don't feel nervous about it. I'm going to be excited when I return home because I'll have a lot of great stories to tell and describe how things really work in space. So I'm not nervous. I'm excited. Um, it'll be fantastic to get back home. Um, but I am going to enjoy the moment here because you don't know when you get back. So um, great question. Over. To you, the way the um, our waste hygiene compartment works um, is a, a very nice um, engineering job that was done by our Russian colleagues. But we also have great experiments in the Cold Atom Lab. We have different types of um, fabrication facilities that we're using to, you know, maybe one day um, create something biological in our fabrication facilities. The technology we're trying out and that we use every day. Over. That the ISS is still a large experimental laboratory. So we can do all kinds of amazing things. We um, even take So I like to think of things as, you know, when we have a question that needs a solution. And, you know, if there's an issue on the ISS, we can figure out solutions to that too. So uh, um, I like to think about it in a different way. We have some locations that are called spout zones, but that's for our safety. You know, some places are um, off limits for the safety of the equipment sometimes. So, like, we have um, one rack that has an ongoing experiment right now. So, it's off limits to even um, touch the handrails that's on it because we don't want to ruin the experiment. So, pretty much all areas of the space station are accessible, but... Um, Thank you. 